Today, we are making the perfect pancake. Making pancakes from scratch is so easy and they are so much better than using a pre-made mix. Because it's just my husband and I here at home, today I am making a small batch version of my perfect pancake. You can find the full size version of the recipe in the description down below. This small batch version makes six perfect pancakes. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and today I'm going to share with you all my tips for the perfect pancake. We are going to make a pancake that is light, tender, thick, fluffy, and delicious. Now I think pancakes are perfect for breakfast or for dinner. I want to know what you prefer though. Do you like them for breakfast, dinner, or both? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Now my first tip is to use buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, you can make these pancakes with regular milk or water, but I think that buttermilk gives it that extra little tang and makes for a more tender, light, and fluffy pancake. Because what's gonna happen is that buttermilk is higher in acid content than regular milk, and it is gonna have a little chemical reaction with the baking soda that's in there, and it's gonna create little bubbles of carbon dioxide. And these little bubbles are gonna create that light and fluffy pancake that's so good. Now, you can make your own version of buttermilk at home by taking regular milk and adding a tablespoon of vinegar or a tablespoon of lemon juice in it, but I do think that the buttermilk you buy at the store is the best. Okay, tip number two for the perfect pancake is I like to mix all my dry ingredients together first in a bowl. So we have a cup of all-purpose flour, we have a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a tablespoon of sugar. Mix it all together. Then I like to take the back of a spoon and form a little well in the middle of my dry ingredients. The next, we're gonna mix together our wet ingredients. So I've got my cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of canola or vegetable oil, and then we're gonna add in one egg. Take a fork. Mix it all together. And then we are going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Now it's important you put the wet into the dry, not the dry into the wet. Third tip for the perfect pancake is do not over mix your pancakes. That is why I do it by hand versus with a mixer because you're, um, with a mixer you're more tempted to over mix it and over beat it. And over mixing pancakes makes for a tough pancake. And we want a nice, tender, fluffy, light pancake. So just go ahead and mix it together till everything is combined. You may have a few lumps still in your batter. That is perfectly okay. And you want your batter, you may find depending um, on your buttermilk and such that you need to add a little bit more in because you want your consistency of your batter to be, um, I want it to be a, to flow a little bit more than that. Can you see that's kind of glopping off of there for lack of a better word? So I'm gonna add in just a little bit more buttermilk to thin it out a bit. Okay, it's almost there. You see how that's flowing a little bit better? I want it just a little thinner. So just add a little bit at a time because you don't wanna get it too thin because if you get your batter too thin, then your pancakes spread all over your griddle and you end up with one big pancake. All right, I think it's flowing off of there a little bit better. All right, I think we're good. Now we're gonna get ready to heat up our griddle and I got a few more tips for you. Our next step for a perfect pancake is to use a griddle if you have one. I much prefer using a griddle versus doing it in a pan on the stove top because I feel like I can control my heat better with a griddle. And so I've got my heat set to about 350 degrees. I'd like to really heat it up, get it nice and hot, and then we're gonna turn down the temperature a little bit. But to make sure that it's at the right temperature, I just take a little bit of water on my fingers, let it, can you hear that sizzle? Just let that water dance, then you know that your griddle is nice and warm. So we've got to heat it up. I'm gonna take some butter. You could use oil if you prefer. And I just like to, it's gonna help add some flavor to those pancakes, as well as give it a nice golden brown color. And I just kind of wipe off any excess. All right, now our next tip. We're gonna use a scoop, okay? And I just wanna show you this batter so you can see how you want it nice. It just flows right out of there. 
Okay, but I always use a scoop because I want my pancakes to be the same size. That way they're gonna cook nice and evenly. And I'm using the scoop that I use for muffins, for cupcakes. Um, it's about a third to a half of a cup. You can use either one depending on what size uh, pancakes you want. And this just gives you nice even sized pancakes. Now if your pancake is the right, your batter is the right consistency, it's gonna flow out pretty well into a nice round shape. You might have to give it a little bit of help. This recipe for small batch pancakes makes six pancakes. Um, down below again, I will have a full batch recipe down there for you that if you're feeding a crowd, this one is easy. You can just take this one too and double it or triple it for however many pancakes you need. And I'm going to turn the griddle down just a bit. My next tip is for when you know how to flip your pancakes. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to start to get little bubbles on them. And when those little bubbles start to pop and they start to dry out a little bit around the edges, that is when you know it's time to flip. All right, we're going to take our spatula and it's all in the wrist. Pop. Look at perfectly golden brown. Now, if you flip them too soon, you're going to end up with pancake batter kind of splashed all over your griddle. So make sure you wait until they're starting to look a little dry and those bubbles have popped or are starting to pop. See that one? You can see a little bit right there. I could have probably waited another minute, but it's okay. Now we're going to let them cook on the second side until that side is nice and golden brown. That side won't take quite as long as the first side did. Now you're going to be tempted, okay? You can see how nice and light and fluffy they are. Sometimes you're just kind of tempted to take that spatula and push down on them. Don't do it, okay? We want that nice, light, fluffy pancake. All right, our pancakes are ready. You can see they're nice and golden brown on the second side too. All I gotta do is grab a plate. Now, woo, <laughs> I like my pancakes pretty plain with just some butter on it but you can add your favorite syrup. Down below, I'm gonna link uh, to two of our favorite syrups. One of them, if you've got some extra buttermilk left over for making the pancakes, the buttermilk syrup is to die for, and also the coconut syrup. So I'll link to both of those. But I am just gonna add on some butter. Of course, maple syrup would be delicious too. And all we've got left to do is grab a fork. All right. Mm. I'm going to do a close up here and show you how light and fluffy these pancakes really are. And there you have it, the perfect pancake. It's perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. And you can find the recipe for these small batch buttermilk pancakes in the description down below, as well as my recipe for a full size batch. Be sure and check out my other small batch recipes by clicking over here and we'll see you back in the kitchen next week.